Okay, this is perfect. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to show you was how how we're uh, trading on a discretionary basis too, because um, it doesn't have to be an automated strategy. So let me let me show you what I mean here. Yeah, and 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 we might be able to get you uh, to do the same thing on the live streams too. But um, hang on, let me just. How many um, how many prop firm accounts do you have right now? Let's see, I've got let's twenty and uh, are you counting top step or yeah? Because you you're, you're integrated with Project X, you can yeah. We we have everyone. Oh, sweet. We're, we're twenty three um, so prop I've firms got right now. Six twenty six. I've probably like 34, 35. A few of those are evals that I'm uh, that I'm um, trying to pass right now with uh, funding ticks. Cool. Oh, awesome. for a trade day. That's an eval I'm like $100 away from, but I didn't realize when I bought their account that it's a seven day, seven days of trading to pass plus consistency rule. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm one day away from having those funded. So, uh, so yeah, maybe 35, 37-ish accounts in total. All right. I upped your account limit to allow for 40 uh, firm accounts. So okay. you can you can connect them all, but let me just show you real quick kind of how this yeah. works. Okay, I, I, I would love for you to give this a try and, and get your feedback on it. We're trying to make a tool that obviously works well for prop trading, and uh, you know, obviously having your expertise here, your feedback is helpful. Um, so I've got all these Apex accounts, uh, the Futures Desk. I got a new Top Step account, Take Profit Trader, Tradeify. This one's actually really close to payout. I should be. I'm a. I'm just a, a little bit away from goal on this one. And then I'll be able to collect my first. But if you watch our live stream from this morning, you'll kind of see how um, I'm trading this. Let me pull up my chart and I'll show you. So the way it works is instead of it being like a broker integration, you actually just have lines on the chart with alerts attached to them. So I might okay. drag a line uh, down and it, it, it activates an alert on my chart. And that alert, it contains a message for what to do in that trade. Let me make this a little bit larger. In this case, this is an exit line. And that sends a webhook notification to Traders Post. And then that trade gets executed across all those accounts. So if I show you my signals today from my trading activity, my first trade I think was around 743. So right at 743, I did my first short. And this traded across all... 27 huh. accounts. And so one signal can trade all of these simultaneously. And we don't work like a trade sinker. It's not a leader account, child account. Basically, it's one signal and we trade them all at exactly the same time. And so you can see like right off the bat, my signal for my entry was actually 23,620.25. And I actually got $2 of positive slippage on this short, mm -hmm. $2.25. Um, and so it got executed pretty quickly. Everything went through. Uh, through to the broker uh, super fast and slippage was positive on this one. But essentially, I can now go through and review each trade that went through and monitor that performance in real time. Um, it's not like real time, real time, but basically I can I can go to the dashboard and I can see the open P&L for everything. Right. And, uh, and so how, what, if, what if like you get into a trade and you want to you know close it mid trade or something like that? It auto copies all that throughout the life of this trade or how does that work? That's right. So I might have like, let's say I have an entry to go short. I would drag the line of where I want to enter and it would send off the signal to enter the position. If I want to exit them all at the same time, I would just throw the exit line up and then Got that it. exits everything all at once. Move the exit line right to where price is at the moment. Then that will right. close it. Right I, could, I could just drop it right on this candle and it's going to activate right away. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I would definitely mess with that because like right now I use ninja trader mm -hmm. and on replicanto uh to to do my copy trading but you know i'm not copying all my accounts at once either i, I kind of have my little baskets of like five but it is kind of annoying because with with um with with uh with with replicanto i have to kind of like set it up and change things when each time and and it's only good on two different computers i have a license for two computers so if i'm right from my phone or away it, it like i'm i'm fine with it but it there should be an easier way as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this doesn't even need another computer open. This is all right. done in the cloud. So you can close your computer, walk away or whatever you want. And it's, it, it's going to send the signal through. Um, the other nice thing is we have this concept of subscriptions on our platform, which means that some of those subscriptions might have differing rules. For example, 
on my Tradeify account, which is a larger 150k uh, account. If I go to the settings here for position size, mm -hmm. I can actually change the quantity to three, for example. So if I send an order to buy one, it'll actually buy three. If I send two, it'll buy six and so on and so forth. And I can do that for that just that one account. So the signal comes in and trades the rules according to each account uh, connected to the system. So we've got all these like independent ways to manage things differently as you go along. Maybe one of these accounts, you know, you can't trade uh, NQ on. So you, you tell it that you only want it to trade these symbols um, and, and everything but NQ. So you could change those settings if you want to. And so it makes it really convenient to uh, just manage the trade itself and not have to worry about how each account is impacted by this trade. I do. I, I scale this way on purpose. Uh, like the Apex accounts, I tend to be a little more aggressive. So I have a signal multiplier on those. Uh, but the Tradeify ones, I might go, go a little bit smaller. And mm -hmm. so I just I manage the position size automatically. So I don't even have to think about it. Yeah, um, I was speaking with, um, you know, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Um, so she was telling me that she uses you guys for yep. copy trading yeah. and that she loves it. So it's yeah. super simple and intuitive. And so, yeah, it was, uh, okay, cool. No, yeah, I definitely want to do that because no, like I said, Replicanto is a little, it's a little antiquated, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I've heard mixed reviews on trade sinker as well. So we really think we have one of the most robust solutions out there. Um, we're even trying to integrate with another charting platform soon where it's going to be even more robust than these lines, these horizontal lines on the chart. Uh, you'll actually be able to submit an order uh, to traders post just like a normal trading panel uh, oh, nice. would, would. And that would include all your takes and stop losses and all that. Uh, so, I mean, if you're interested, we could set up another call and we can run through what this might look like for your approach and I can help you set this up. Uh, yeah. But ideally, you know, my biggest thing right now is just trying to work with um, traders like yourself to figure out if we can make the product better, just get some feedback from you on how it works. And we're happy to keep your account free and uh, yeah. continue to so, use us. So let's say, I, you know, normally when I'm putting in an order, because I, I do a lot of my trading through TradingView, yep. um, you know, I'll put like the, you know, the box, you know, like the trading box, you know, where, you know, to show if you're in a trade. Yeah, yeah. You know, so like like, oh, you mean which box uh, do you mean? I think, I think, okay. So one of on the tools all the way to your left, you know, the tools all the way to the left, like the, the one right above that. Right about that. Oh, yeah. the, you mean this one, like a long position. Right. So normally what I'll do the way I get into trade is I'll put like that and then I right click on it and do create order, create limit order. You know, see that? Yeah. And then, you know, you have to be connected to your broker, but then I could put how many, uh, you know, what what I want to uh, do. And then it, it sits here as a limit order. So the TP is on the top, the SL on the bottom. And simply, uh, you know, very simply, you can just... Um, that's how I do my trades pretty much. So, Got it. so if, if, with, if I could move these lines, like what you were showing me, like, so I guess the way I would do that is I would put that order in there, then move the lines to, you know, one of the, the, the signal line to take profit, one signal line to the break even and one signal line that would be at the order entry, I guess. Is that? Yep. That's how I do it. I have mm -hmm. basically three lines in place. So I would have uh, a green line for the buy a red line for sell, and then I could have two of these exit lines, one for take profit and one for stop loss. And I just move uh, those where they need to be. So in theory, you still uh, make your long position box, but you put an exit line at the top and, in, and another exit line at the bottom and you can move your you short sell out of the way. Right. And, you know, your buy would be right here. Right, so when price exactly. executes, you've already got your exits all set up. And then whenever price crosses those lines, it just triggers off the alert to exit the position. So those exit lines are smart enough to know if you're in a buy to do a sell and to sell to get out. And if you're in a sell to do a buy, you don't need to put like a like, like you don't need to do a different exit for a buy than you would for a sell type. Of That's correct because our system actually manages your positions for you. I don't have any open positions to demonstrate this right now, but um, essentially an exit means we're going to go look up how many contracts you have at the moment and whether they're short or long, and we will flatten your position for you. So it's the same thing as, okay. as the clicking the exit, uh, cancel and flatten at market on trading uh, trade of eight, for example. And that, that would be the cleanest and easiest way to do it. Then you don't even have to worry about calculating the right offset or anything like that. You just, you just say exit and we just exit however many contracts you have. Nice. No, that, that's uh, no, that, that is, that is great. Like, um, yeah, no, I definitely would want to, 
learn how to get, and get it set up where I can um, do a little practicing on it and get comfortable with it. And then, so then if I want to trade from my phone, it's the same thing because my trading view app, right? I would just. Yeah. It's a little it bit, over. it's a little bit tricky in the sense that it's a little bit tighter of a screen, but I mean, obviously trading has done a pretty good job of yeah. providing you a mobile version of this. So essentially I can still drag the line even in mobile and it's going right. to activate that alert the same exact way. I have done, I have managed this for mobile before. I prefer to be on desktop, but if you're a mobile trader, this, this will still work. And yeah, you can I, I don't it. mind moving the lines because I'm, I mean, my whole chart is, is lines. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm fine it. moving yeah. lines around like that, that, that's fine with me. But and yeah, that, I, I don't always trade from my phone, but I definitely do trade from my phone, you know, like uh, yeah. it's definitely not my main place to trade, but it's got to be at least, if it's not 50%, it's 40%. It's either 40% or 60%. It's, uh, you know. So. Right. Well, the nice thing too, is that you can also use our mobile app. Um, our, our website is actually built as a uh, progressive web app as well. So you could, in theory, oh, wow. go to your, yeah. your strategies, open it up, uh, go to the dashboard and you can close all positions from here as well. Uh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one there, but um, you can also just choose an, one of these brokers specifically and, and close any open positions with us too. So in theory, like a lot can be done either from TradingView specifically uh, or from the mobile app on, on Traders Post. In either case, you should have all the control you need from mobile or desktop Yeah, uh, yeah. and it works really well. And, and I mean, it's not like a big, like, you know, with NinjaTrader, obviously you can't do that from your phone like that has no. to be out. Yeah, no. Right, so. Yeah, this um, is no, this, this is all cloud based. So we're just relying on the webhook uh, alerts that TradingView provides. So you can do it on really any device uh, that works, or or just for, straight from our app. Um, See, I think I, I think not enough traders know about this. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think mo I think if you asked twenty traders how do you copy trade, they would all say Replicanto on Intratrader right. or this new trader say like. No, like you know what I'm saying. Like I mm -hmm. feel like this is like a hidden thing, which uh, like a hidden secret that maybe. Yeah. You know, I definitely want to try it out, but I mean, it seems like something that's, uh, like I said, Rebecca really said it's 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 great. So. Uh, I agree. Uh, we're working on it. We're hoping to improve uh, our marketing. Of course, we've got some uh, new paid campaigns we're going to be running soon on this. And obviously, we need to update the website so that it doesn't just say we're a automated trading platform. Right. I think that's the main thing that's happening right now is people get here and they're like, this isn't copy trading. Right. And right. Uh, we've got some work to do to, to improve that. Yeah. Nonetheless, the, uh, the opportunities here, we'd love to work with guys like you where if this works for you and you're happy with the experience, if you can, you know, showcase Show how it. it's working sure. for you out there in the wild, um, we'll get you a, a, a referral code and you can yeah. earn on some signups as well with us. Yeah. It sounds, sounds, it sounds cool. Yeah. I'm definitely interested in trying to, in setting something up where I can maybe, uh, you know, log in, you know, add, add, add the accounts, do some practices on my evals just to make sure I'm good with all this line moving and, and then, um, uh, you know, just get comfortable with it, I guess, really. Sure. And then yeah. Really Give it a try. See if it's intuitive for you. If you're running into any setup questions, just feel free to ping me and, uh, we'll set up a call and I can just run and help you set it up. Um, I can definitely promise you that once you get the hang of it, like Rebecca has probably intimated, like it's easy after that. It looks um, like it. I mean, you're moving yeah. the line to where you want to get out. It's what could be easier. super simple. Yeah. And you can even add to position. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll move the line, enter into a short, and then that deactivates the alert. And then if I want to add to the position, I just move the line again. And now I've just added to the existing position I'm already in. Oh, I so see what you're saying. You just move it away and back in and then it gets another position. And it gets another I alert. See. It sends another it sends another request. And then I'm in by four contracts now. And then I can move it again. And now mm -hmm. I'm in by six contracts. And then when I'm ready to get out, I just move the exit line and I'm done. It's that simple. Um, you, I also you don't mess have, with top step much. You per, like uh, like uh, on your accounts. You don't really mess with them. Like no, I do now. Yeah, I just got okay. my first top step account. I, yeah. I was with them before, and I I love Tradeavate. Uh, I I prefer Tradeavate because it has bracket orders and these yeah. like these lines up here. These are my scalping lines, and they have a different message inside of them. These are the ones that have a take profit and stop loss built into them. So I have my fifteen point take wow. and my twenty point stop, and they don't they don't provide support for um, uh, bracket orders on Project X. So when they moved from Tradeavate, I really couldn't work with Topstep anymore. 
Uh, but I'm starting to work with them again, at least just on my uh, trend following strategy where mm-hmm. I don't even have the take or stop defined. And I'm just I'm just letting this trade ride until I'm ready to get out of it. Um, at some point, if they offer the bracket orders, I will I, incorporate my I, they, scalp. They have that now. They've added it to Project X now. So it's, it's in the dashboard. You can go to the, settings, the settings and you, you right. can. Yeah, but it's not the quite it's not quite the same thing because I know what you mean. Because you it's a dollar to, amount. Yeah, it's a oh, dollar sorry. amount. And it also adjusts your take profit and stop loss if you add to your position. So effectively, right. it keeps the same dollar amount, but then it cut your profit in half. And That's I don't true. like that in half. Right, I don't, I don't, right, right. Okay, that doesn't yeah, work yeah. for me. Good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, happy to help you set this up. Would love your feedback on it. Um, let me know what you what you run into. Yeah, I'll I'm, I'll I'll uh, I'll get in, into it, and then I, I'll reach out when I have questions for it uh, on it. You know, because uh, I'll, I'll see what I can figure out on my own, and if not, then I'll. Ping you or jump into your uh, live stream. I, I know where to find sure. you every day. Yeah, <laughs> you know where to find so, me. That's for sure. I know where to find you, so I can always just jump in there and say what's up. 